Yo, what's up everyone, and in this video we're going to talk about Tarkov settings and my settings in specific. But first of all, let's open uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. There is actually quite a bit of information there about the settings and uh, what they mean in the game. So let's go through all of them. Um, yeah. So first of all, anisotropic filtering. Increases the sharpness and the clarity of textures, especially those viewed at a distance or an angle. All right. Anti-aliasing. Smoothed the appearance of jacked edges. Yes. Grass shadows. Um, allows grass to cast shadows. Duh. HBAO enables ambient occlusion, in other words, uh, softer shadows. Object LD quality. Adjust the visual quality of objects based on their distance from the player. Overall visibility controls the visibility of distant detail. Uh, resembling is basically changing is changing is changing rendering resolution, um, but it keeps your main resolution the same. Shadow visibility. I don't think there's shadow visibility setting in Tarkov anymore. They disabled it. Shadow quality. Shadow quality. SSR is a screen reflection, basically like a v version of RTX, which allows to see better reflections. Texture quality is texture quality. Um, and yeah, that's it more or less. So let's look onto my game settings. I'll explain them and uh, show you the difference on labs. So with my current settings, with this one, I'm able to get pretty high frames, especially on labs. As you can see, in this area I'm getting 130, and this is this area on labs is the area with the highest utilization of your GPU. So if you go here in boilers and you check and you check your GPU utilization, it's going to be the highest one. And for example, if I run away for a bit, my frames are going to go up to 200, like here. And in tunnels, I'm getting somewhere between 150 to 200 frames all the time. And if I go up, my frames are going to be somewhere between 110 and 150. So let's talk about the settings, uh, why I chose them and what they do. So first of all, screen resolution, right? I'm playing at uh, 1080p like a normal gamer because uh, I also stream in uh, 936p and this resolution suits it pretty well. Um, all the people who are playing in stretched, who play in stretched, it's very strange, it looks very strange on the stream and I can't watch those streams. So I prefer to play at uh, usual resolution. Texture quality is on low for a few reasons. First of all, I stream through my GPU, so my GPU is being utilized for streaming. And secondly, my CPU is a, a FAT i9-9900K, which is uh, much better than my uh, RTX 2070 GPU. So for those reasons, I'm using low texture quality. Shadow quality is on low for exactly the same reason, to reduce GPU utilization. So object LOD quality is on 3. I don't think it affects your performance too much, and later on in the video I'll show you what it does. So I set it on 3. Um, same goes for overall visibility. I tried playing with it, putting it to 3K, uh, 400, and I couldn't see much difference. So uh, I decided to leave it at 1000, just a random number. Anti-aliasing is TA. Personally, I prefer no anti-aliasing because it makes the game um, softer and I like the sharpness. I like the sharp uh, edges. It's a bit better for the stream to play with anti-aliasing because there is less pixelation when you play on, um, on, on grass or when using painkillers. So I keep it at TAA. It doesn't change your performance too much unless you select TAA high, then it might reduce uh, your frames a bit. So I'm at 128 frames, we go to TAA, 129 frames, no difference basically. And if we select anti-aliasing off, we're getting like 6 more frames. Alright, resampling is basically to do with your game rendering. If you downsample it to 0.5, the game is gonna look um, smudged with uh, less quality. 
It will give you more frames, like I'm at 200 at the moment, but it doesn't look that nice. So don't touch resampling, uh, leave it at 1. HBO is to do with the shadows and if you select it on high, it really decreases your frames by much. So on off, I'm getting 130 frames and I, if I max it out, my frames go down to 94. So that's like a 30% drop and it's way too much. I can't afford to lose that many frames, so we keep it on off simply for FPS reasons. SSR is uh, screen reflections. Um, a best example to show would be right here. For example, if we look into those... Um, man, I'm kind of in English anymore. 3 a.m. Anyway, there are no reflections in this water, if you can see. And if we max it out, it's gonna look much better, but it's gonna affect our performance. So, after you max it out, there is way more reflections. For example, you can see the red pipes, right? Or from here, you can see the boiler reflecting, yeah? So reflections become higher quality and they feel more alive, but it tanks the performance. Yeah, roughly by 30% as well. As with that on off, I will be getting 130 frames in this area. So for FPS reasons, we turn it off. Boom, back to 130 frames. Uh, another tropic filtering works on uh, longer distances. I tried using I tried using it on, off, I didn't see much difference, and most of the fights in Tarkov take place in close range anyway, so I keep it off. In either reflex low latency is a new technology, blah blah blah. I simply use it to get rid of the FPS limit. If you look in the top right corner, you can see that my FPS is not limited. And that's the only reason I use it. I keep sharpness on zero because whenever I play, I usually pre paint kill and it gives you additional uh, sharpening effect. And with sharpness on max, it will be way too sharp for me and for my stream and will, and will cause even more pixelation. High quality color, I have no idea what it does, but apparently if you turn it off, you'll gain a couple of extra frames. Z blur, uh, chrome brevations and noise make the game look uh, pff, noisier and shittier. So keep it off, it just looks disgusting. And I keep grass shadows off uh, simply for FPS reasons. I don't look at grass that much, so grass having no shadows, no shadows is not gonna make me sad, but I will gain a couple of frames. And last but not least, a combination of MIP streaming with low texture quality makes my textures look like this. And this. It's extremely low quality, but it does give me 5-10% to boost on FPS. Um, and I think it's totally worth it. The thing is that MIP shimming, I don't think it works correctly in Tarkov. Because things like this are not supposed to be happening close range. Textures are supposed to be super smudge on a long distance, but not close range. And I think it works very different with different GPUs. So if you're not using 2070, your combination of low quality uh, textures with MAP streaming might look completely different to mine. And more or less this is it. I went through most of my settings. Let me quickly show you what uh, object LD quality does. And I think more or less will be done. So the best example to show object LD quality will be those double doors at the end of the hallway. So if I sit here and I turn it to lowest, as low as I can, to two, right? These doors don't render at this distance. And the same thing applies to different objects, for example, stims, painkillers, uh, ledexes, which you can find on the floor. They will also not render at a further distance. And if we max it out, we don't even have to max it out, we can just put it on, on 3. Boom! The doors render, right? And the main problem is, whenever you loot items, for example, on interchange, uh, in Oli, most of the items which lie on the floor, they will literally render from that distance whenever you come next to them, if you have that setting on the lowest um, number at 2. And if you max it out, you will see them a bit further, let's say at this distance. So if the object has to be this close for you in order to render, you might just pass it a step further and it just wouldn't render on your screen. So if there is, if there are bolts or screws lying right there, you're just simply not going to see them because they won't render. So play with this setting. Um, carefully and put it at least on three. 
And this is it more or less. If you still have any questions about my settings, about my frames, please feel free to ask them down in the questions. And the questions down in the comments below and I'll try to answer most of them. And yeah, this is it. See you in the next one.